What is art? How does one create art? What, what qualifies something as art? What does it take for something to be called a piece of art? Is it a painting, a drawing, a book, a movie, a TV, a video game, a poster on your wall? What is it to be art? Is art the act of communication? Is it the idea of expressing oneself in any way, shape, or form? These are all questions that we must ask ourselves and we'll never truly have a real answer. For all we know, art is just art. But if you were to ask me, what is the greatest piece of art ever? I could only have one answer, rising from the deepest pits of our imagination. Lurks, the greatest piece of art of our time. We are truly lucky to be born and to live in a time where this piece of art exists. For those who came before it were empty. They lived unfulfilling lives, unable to reach pure ecstasy. Because those who were born before this was made was forced to live in a world full of nothingness, with no beauty, no passion, nothing to enjoy. They were just empty husks of human beings. Even though we are a generation that has inherited much trouble and struggles, we can at least go to bed at night happy that we've gotten to experience this peak of artistic integrity. Nothing before this, before this piece of art, there was nothing like it. And after it, nothing can be like it again. It is truly a singularity in a world full of homogenized nonsense. Nothing can rival the true greatness that is found inside this one piece of art. This magic, magic, magical piece of art that I am about to describe to you today. Keep in mind that my words cannot truly captivate the true emotion behind this piece. That the, even the world's greatest poet, not even Shakespeare himself, could have deciphered and analyzed and reiterated the inner beauty that this art piece resonates with the world and anyone who comes into touch with it. This art piece is in a league of its own, completely separated from the rest of the pack, something that is truly a once in a lifetime event and we got to witness it. And for those who haven't seen it, you'll get to witness it again. For those of you who do not know what art piece I'm talking about, I recommend that you take off your shoes and socks and curl your toes a few times, stretch them, because let's be honest, what I'm about to show you will knock your socks off. Those of you who are expecting a child, please refrain from watching this piece of art because you will give birth whether you want to or not. The art piece that I am talking about will stimulate the brain cells and create a new generation that has superpowers. Watching this piece of art will give you spiritual superpowers. You will unlock your third eye and you will see new sights and new colors and new smells you thought you could never smell before. Watching this video will enlighten you. You will understand what the meaning of life is. And if only everybody in the world today were to see this art piece, maybe world peace could have truly been achieved. So, are you ready? Are you ready to see the greatest art piece in the history of the world? Three, two, one. Before we go, I just want to give another courtesy reminder to those who haven't taken off their shoes and socks and curled their toes that they may want to do so. Because like I said earlier, if you don't, and this is your first time seeing this, it might accidentally cause your toes to stub themselves out of pure shock and joy. I love my viewers who are subscribed to the channel, who like, comment, and have already subscribed. So I want them to know I want them to be warned so they don't go what I went through. 
because the first time I saw this picture, the first time I saw this work of art, I stubbed every single toe in my body, including one of my fingers. So now, allow me to present to you the Zard Walk. Here we see a simple, elegated Charizard from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Wii U. As you can see, he is already elegant in beauty as he does his idol pose. But there is a secret, hidden truth to this Charizard. He hides something from us. He hides something from the viewer at first. He's patient. He waits. He waits to make sure that the audience is there to see him, not to see what he has to do. And when he knows that you're here to watch true beauty, he begins. Look at that walk. This is the greatest piece of art to ever, and I mean ever, grace the eyes of mankind. He walks with such prose, with such inflections, with such extractions of raw, artistic beauty that I cannot begin to describe its true inner maculates as we see him slowly stride up to Princess Zelda from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and proceed to penetrate through her torso and walk her to the edge. I believe this is an artistic description of the idea of living life. This is what it's like. This is what it's like to be Sisyphus rolling the rock up the hill. No matter how beautiful the Zard walks, the princess will simply not fall off the stage. She holds on. She looks with a sneer of endurance as the Zard realized that his life is not to be trying to make others succeed, it's to have himself succeed. And then he decides to try again because it's human nature to try again after failing. And now he walks away slowly, realizing that he is himself, he is true power. And then he jumps off the stage to try and kill himself, but he changes his mind because he realizes life is true power. And then he tries it again. So then he walks off the stage again, but then he comes back. He refuses to let himself die no matter how many times he convinces himself it's the only way out of hell. And then, one last time, he walks back. He gives one last look as he turns around and walks away again. This time, he teeters on the ledge before he turns around and then faces the ledge again. And then, gallantly, he turns around once more and walks slower than ever before. He is a true work of art. You see every human emotion in the fact of this fictional dragon. You see happiness, you see joy, you see sadness, you see gluttony, you see lust, you see violence. Look at him, he's up smashing, he's narrowing. That is beautiful. And I wish that I had the words to truly replicate the inner beauty of the Charizard walk, the Zard walk, but I am no master. I am no master educationer of the platform fighting nerds. There's only one man who could truly, truly captivate the audience with his words, who could truly put pen to paper to describe the true beauty of the Zard Walk. But he won't do it. He's afraid. Dear viewer, this is an open letter to Twitter user at official neutral to please, please, please review the Zard Walk. I am not the only one who feels this way. Thousands upon thousands of our generation understand what is at stake. That the world is going down a bad, bad rabbit hole that which we cannot get out ourselves. And if we need to do it, there's only one thing that could save it. And that is if Twitter user at official neutral reviews the Zard walk. 
So please, neutral, listen to your friends. Listen to what they have to say to you. Neutral, please review the Charizard tech called the Zardwalk. The community needs you to review the Zardwalk. Man, the only thing better than a Philly steak with cheese with a neutral would freaking review the Zardwalk. Like, right now, man. Come on. Like, just do it already. Neutral, please review the Charizard tech known as Zardwalk. Neutral, please review the Charizard tech called the Zardwalk. Please, you have to. Neutral, please review the Charizard tech called the Zardwalk. If you have any respect for tech skill, please. Please, Neutral. That, uh, please review the Zardwalk or whatever. Please, Neutral. Please review the Zardwalk. I beg of you. Alright, we're good. We all want you to review the Zardwalk, Neutral. We all need you to review the Zardwalk, Neutral. So please. 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 Please, Neutral. Please review the Zardwalk. It's all I need. It's all I have. It's all I have, Neutral. It's all I have. All I have is a sword walk. I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. Please. Please, Neutral. Put me out of my misery. Please put me out of my misery. By reviewing the Charizard tech. The Zard walk. It is the only thing that could set my tortured soul free. Please. Do it for me.